use all of it. Pull the seat up a little bit more. And there. Oh, wait. And now he's clearing. Okay. Please for traffic. Sky Ranch is triple two, departing runway three five with a west turnout. Okay. Please for traffic, Range Master two five four. And look at that wind sock. See the wind's picking up already. Yeah. Only going to get worse. Oh, it's going to be a crosswind takeoff. It looks like so that that will be over there. Okay. I'll do too many of these, so uh, stay alert for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now it's not a crosswind. Now no, it is a crosswind. Now right. it's not a crosswind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, set to go. Heading is set. Three five zero. We're good. That's confirmed. Let's go. Pages are green. Airspeed's alive. It's good. I think that's ready to go. That's bumpy. Yeah. It's good. I'd say moderate turbulence, so uh, okay. I have some of that. Alright, straight ahead to 900 feet, feet before your turn. You're clear to the left now. And 310 is the heading. One hundred. Uh, that's going to be a heck of a crab. Go ahead and go uh, three two nine or zero is the heading. Two nine or zero. Two nine or zero. You're already up to twenty five knots of wind. And thirteen hundred feet. Back to twenty four, two nine or zero. I'll take the controls for a second, I'm gonna push okay. the back sure. But I think I got it up a little too far. You have Traffic. flight controls. Traffic. The way behind us, or over to the right, I guess, somewhere. They're not talking if this really a person. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's too fast. All right, go ahead and give me a heading to 300. 300. Let's just say Sky Ventures triple two. Okay. All right. Now watch yourself here, in terms of your altitude. To bring the seat up a little bit, now, now I'm lunging. Can you hold, take control of this? Okay, <laughs> okay. You don't quite have this right yet. All right, we'll try that. All right, I have Okay, it. you got it. Zero, zero at 1300. The RPM's back a little bit. There's so much kinetic in the plane. It wants to climb. Okay, go ahead and set twenty three hundred feet and uh, get yourself headed up to twenty three hundred feet. Okay, climbing to 23. And maintain this heading.
Foggles on top. All right. I have the flight controls. Back to the good times here. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while. I'm going to slow us down because this is pretty rough here. I'm going to leave these gloves off for now. Let's see. What's that? Yeah, all right. Warm enough. All okay. right. Good. Okay, you have the flight controls. Go ahead. Climb and maintain 3,700, turn left, heading 250. 3,700, and what was the heading? 250. 5-0. And advise when you have the weather at Winchester. And we'll advise when we have the weather at Winchester. That over oh, right we there. forgot to turn on our strobes and all kinds of stuff over there. Strobes, at least. There you go. All right, 1,000 to go. Let's just listen to that weather right now. Eight zero three Zulu weather wind two seven zero at one six gust two five visibility one zero ceiling six thousand broken temperature one Celsius dew point minus one seven altimeter three zero zero seven. Hey, that wind, let's get that wind again. Yeah. Winchester Regional Airport, automated weather observation. One, eight, zero, three. Zulu, weather, wind, two, seven, zero, at, one, six, gust, two, five, visibility, one, zero, ceiling, six, thousand, broken, temperature, one. Okay, what was it? I have a 270, 16, gusting to 25. Okay. A 270, that's 32 for okay. me. Okay, good. Uh, when able, proceed direct, Jason. All right. I'm just going to get the altitude here. Our procedure here. Activate approach. Enter. Enter. And there we are. Two five zero. Now let's see where we are here. All right, we're coming into Jason. Uh, six miles to Jason. Wow. How about that? Uh, all right, six miles to Jason. And let's just brief it. Let's turn on this autopilot thing here, okay? Uh, uh, you know what? I tell you what, I'll fly the airplane. I don't want to strain the autopilot right now. Okay. Okay, I've got your flight controls. All right, let me brief this approach. Yeah, okay. go right ahead. And we've gotten onto the night mode. Let's turn that back to day mode. All right. So we're going to do the LPV approach here. Minimum's 920. And uh, I don't see my minimums here. We set that at. Yeah, we have. Yeah, it there. You said it. It'll come yeah. up when you. It'll close. come up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, that is gusty. All right. Uh, just to brief this, uh, it's a WAS approach. We are WAS equipped, 
And uh, we're going to fly 324 on the final approach. Hey, Touchdown hey, zone. Okay, hold on. You were, okay, that's fine. Okay, I, I thought you were going to do the uh, ILS. Oh, we're doing the ILS? Oh, it, it doesn't matter. You, you. Uh, 109.55, that's what you loaded in, the ILS. I loaded the ILS. Okay, I got the yeah. wrong plate here yeah. for some reason. Okay. This is the reason you briefed the approach, though, right? Let me get the uh, right approach here. Hold on a second. What time are you going to Okay, so this is the, uh, that's right, we are doing the ILS approach. So we're loaded 109.55. The final approach will be 324, touchdown zone elevation 715. And uh, we're going to come in at uh, altitude 3700. Um, at CLAD, we'll be turning into our final approach. And uh, be a, uh, I actually, I'd like to do a couple approach with the uh, pilot, unless you don't want to do that. Oh, it's, it's really windy. Uh, windy for that? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's pretty windy for that. Uh, I, I tell you what, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do your coupled approach. Okay. Like you want to do. Okay. We'll try that. We'll see how it goes. And uh, the final approach is Kogan. And the um, next approach would be climb uh, straight climb to 1400, right turn to climbing right turn to 3700 with a heading of 160 to the clad intersection. Number five, six, eight, five, five, right. So Number that's five, what we're doing. Eight, five, 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 and we're now two and, two and a half miles from Jason. In contact one, turn, turn two, three, eight. Two, three, All right, so with that, eight, I would like to turn this on. Okay. And uh, we're going to turn on nav and the approach. And let's just turn on. Oh, we got the uh, that on. So let's just turn it on and see what happens. How about your pitch? Your altitude. My altitude, okay. Here we go. All right, let's see what happens. What's, what's maneuvering speed in this airplane? Um, I don't know. What was it? Was it? But there's somewhere. It should uh, say 109. 109. Okay, so let's, we're going really fast for this kind of rough air, so let's get the power back to about 22 or so. All right. Let's see how it does at 22. Pretty good. I like that. We're doing 95. I'm okay with that. I'm not sure where that 109 is. I don't. That should be over in that writing up there somewhere. All right, we'll look for it later. All right. All right. So power here. Half a mile adjacent. We should be turning to eight. Five miles to clad. We're doing the ILS. We're going to leave it on magenta. We'll switch to the uh, to the. Okay, now now careful there because uh, you're re recall what this thing will do when you switch nav sources. Okay, it's going to start flashing at you. As long as you take the appropriate steps, you're good. I'm not sure I remember that. Okay, so as we get down toward cloud, I want you to go to heading mode. Make sure your heading bug is synced up. Go to heading mode, and you're already in APR. Then switch your switch your CDI to the nav one. And then you'll be all set. I have to switch to heading mode? That's correct, you do. Uh, and before I switch to the VOR? At, before you switch to the localizer, that's localizer. right. Localizer, right. I don't know if I know that. Well, we've, we've done it a lot of times. Okay. All right, I like what we're doing here. We're at 90. I'm going to turn on my landing light. Yeah, yeah, because he's out here with us, and I can't zoom Aircraft in. Aircraft to Winchester, Winchester Unicom. The winds are 270 at 17, gust 25, altimeter 3007, Winchester. If I switch to heading mode now, yeah, you could do that right now, in fact. Right. And then make sure you use that to steer yourself along the course. You could switch your CDI at any time. Hey. There you go. So what have you got there? You've got the localizer in white, the glide slope in white. So that's what it's going to do. Am I still linked into the approach mode? Uh, yes, you are. Because How do you know that? How do you know you're still linked into the approach mode? 
Because of what I just said, right? White, white, that's what you've told it to do. It's not active yet. That's, that's what you've told it to do. That's correct. Okay. Green is what it's doing. White is what you've told it to do. Okay. All right, good. All right, so three and a half miles to clad. I'm going to have to turn this to the final approach heading with that. No, but no, absolutely not. Just going to capture. You've told it to capture. Again, you've armed the approach, remember? Okay. Nothing bothering me here. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Three miles to clad. There goes that traffic out there. All right, good. Hopefully he's going on along to Dulles or Manassas or somewhere, not coming to shoot this ILS. November 568, Papa Bravo. This is Washington Center on guard. If you hear this, contact Washington Center 126-187. Mile to clad. When is it going to activate the approach? Well, I would I would say that when you kind when you when you intercept the localizer. Okay. All right. So it's supposed to turn to three two four. That's correct. It's going to be turning in three two one. Okay, so there it goes. Now there it goes. Okay, good. All right. So now our glide slope is up there, so we're going to fly at this altitude until we get that in there. Okay. And we're at 90 good. knots, and so we've good. got our uh, landing light. If I were doing a gumps, gas, undercarriage, mixture, pop, switches are on at 90 knots. A 24 knot headwind and a 6 knot crosswind. Add the cedar. We're waiting for the glide slope to come down. Uh, why, why don't you tell Winchester that you're 12 miles to the southeast? Exactly, right. <laughs> Winchester traffic, Skyvenger 222, about 12 miles southeast for straight in runway 32. Six to Cedar. When that uh, glide slope comes down a little bit more, we'll put the 10 degrees of flaps in. All right, I think we're just about at the 10 degrees here. Uh, you've got a really slow ground speed, so there's no need, no big rush getting those flaps in, but you know, 
Play some glide slope intercept, maybe even. Okay. Watch for the capture there. Okay, let's put that in now. We're at 90 knots. So. All right, that's good. And sure enough, there it is, capturing the glide slope. Now wait for it. Make sure it's going down. Then reduce that power. Right. Okay. Got your landing line on. We should come down 500 feet. Uh, again, minute. reduce the power now. Well, you're going to come down at a high rate of speed if you don't reduce that power. But we still want 90 knots, right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. And there okay. goes your airspeed to the roof. There it goes. You're not reducing yep. your okay, power. so there bring it back go. to at least 1700. There you go. All right. miles from Kogan, right? Yeah. So you can... About eight miles you out. You can tell them you're about eight miles out. <laughs> Winchester traffic, Skyvex is triple two, uh, eight miles southeast, straight in runway three two. Winchester traffic, Skyline 480 on uh, 45 to left downwind uh, three two. Winchester. Okay, so he'll probably be in front of us. Yeah, he'll be well in front of us. A little more power, a little more speed here. We're Ground speed is 65. Winchester traffic, Skyline 480 on left downwind 32. Winchester. Bumped your power way back up to 2100 now. Yeah, that's because we were getting a little slow at 80 knots, but I overshot it. Let's try. Let's try about 1800, maybe. And this is going to be a low. Blue to 18. It's going to be a low approach only, and you're going to execute the missed approach. And you want me to say that? Uh, no, no, that's what oh. you're going to do. Yep. At 920. Yep. Yep. Commander Kogan, five, six miles out. Winchester traffic, Skyline 480 on left base, 32, Winchester full stop. Winchester traffic, Sky Ventures triple two, about seven miles southeast, straight in runway 32. Traffic 480, turning final 32, Winchester. A mile to Kogan, which is the final approach fix. We could start the timer when we hit there. Just the traffic, Skyvex is triple two, about four miles southeast, straight in runway three two. And your next call, Tom, tell them you're going to be a low approach only. All right, we're 2000, we're looking for 920. Speed's a little low, I'm going to give it a little bit of power.
Two knot crosswind. Down speed is 74. At 21, and we're creeping up our speed, so let's bring back the power a little bit. Winchester traffic, 740, clear the active. Winchester. Which is the traffic, Skyman, just triple two, uh, about uh, four miles southeast, uh, straight in. We'll be doing a low approach. I don't think that went out, Tom. Okay. Did well, you know that? Oh, I'm looking at the TX. Hold on here. You missed the power yeah, back. Skyman, just triple two. We're uh, about two and a half miles short, final for three two, low approach only, Winchester. You are very faint. Okay, well, it's going out because it has a TX there. there you, when you you keyed the mic the last time, it didn't have a TX, so it wasn't going out. Uh, where's the TX here? That's up there on the frequency. Uh, okay. A little bit of power, because we're... They keep playing with these power speeds to keep us at 90. Right. At 1300, we're looking for 920. Climb to 1400, and then uh, climbing right turn to 37. And if you want to break off earlier because of the gusts, yeah. I'm fine with that. That's okay. You me when to do it. Yeah, I'll tell you when to do it. I like these low approaches. I don't <laughs> We're at uh, 85 knots, 1180. Looking up, I want to see the runway. I see it. <laughs> This guy's glide slope. We are at 980. Okay. Let's go mist. Right. To turn this off. You gotta get that. No, push the go around button. Oh, go around button. Right. There you uh, go. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Don't go up there looking for that turbulence like that. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Four. Good. On a 1400. Okay, watching your speed, watching your climb speed. Climb at about 90, Tom. Up. All right, there's 1400. Give me those right. flaps up, right? Flaps up, up, right. Nose down. Okay. Up. Let's get coordinated flight, Tom. Uh, hold on. Oh, look at that. That is. Climbing at 3700 and 160. There we go. what that was. I didn't think I lost control. I mean, it seemed like it, uh, it kind of went off on its own there yeah. for a minute. You, you had a really high angle of attack. Yeah. I don't know quite what that uh, you, was. Well, you had 10 degrees of flaps and you didn't clean it up when you right. started to go around. Exactly. And actually, you got all this wind out here. It's going to pick you right up. Okay. Let's, let's stick with this heading. Go ahead okay. and uh, I'll tap that heading button. Got your flight controls now. I want you to load the VOR DME approach into Winchester. Okay. Into Winchester. All right. Uh, I'm going to turn the flight director off. I guess we delete this flight plan, huh? Uh, no, 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 no. If I can just do a new... Just go to procedure. I think Carroll County. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And select go to select approach. approach. Okay, good. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, VOR, do me off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good afternoon. It's 2112, Victor. We're one. Uh, we're about 10 minutes out. Just, they're going to drop off one and go let's right get back this now. In here. Required today. On. Oh, sounds real good. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. And do we have a landing fee or anything we have to take care of? All right, those minimums okay, are so 1180 and 1. Uh, three pretty good size bags one of those. Okay, sounds real good. Let's activate so. that. Okay. All right. Ready to take your flight controls? All right. I have All right. It. You're going to 3,000. Here you are at 3,000. Going to Travis Sky Ventures 310, approximately. On a 3,000. Okay. Left, 45 degree downwind for runway 33 warranted. Back off that power system, puppy. Thousand, and we're going to 
see one. Which is one mile. We're going to do a teardrop. Let me just see. So we're going to turn uh, at 30.080 when we get there. Cambridge traffic, Skyhawk 9107 Hotel, five miles northwest, inbound for full stop. We're going to be uh, entering an extended left downwind for three four. Cambridge. And we're going to fly one minute, so let's get this timer here. All right, let's turn zero eight zero and get the timer here in a minute. Zero eight zero, and we'll start the timer and go one minute. Back to zero eight zero. The power back. I want to get this back to ninety. Right, uh, let's try about twenty two or so. Altitude down here. Okay, that's about. is bumpy. Back down to 3,000. Are back here a little bit. 3 seconds and we're going to turn uh, 230. About now. Which is CDI? Our battery sky measure three ten, bearing for forty five degree left, downwind for only three three warm. Thousand. On a two three zero. Three thousand. Three thousand. Hey, you've got to add power, Tom. But ninety knots. Okay. But ninety knots, right? Should be really a twenty-two normally. Right. Power there. I want two, three, two. We're at ninety knots. And what are we looking for? We're looking for C wine, which is fifteen. Where's your course at? County, a little bit to the right. Okay, it's a lot to the right. You've got 24 knots of wind pushing you. I'm watching the ground go by sideways. Okay, there we go. Are you correcting back to the course? Warrant is traffic. Skyventure 310 is on final from way 33 Warren. Okay, we've got a mile to go before we start our descent. Sure, where we are at. All right, we're almost there. Let's bring this back to 17 and add 10 degrees. Okay. 
then you should probably give them a call, right? Right. At five miles right. northeast. Sorry? Five miles northeast. I get this set up here. By the airplane first here. Okay. Winchester traffic, Sky Ventures uh, triple two, about five miles uh, to the east for a uh, uh, landing. We landing? Yep, yep. Yeah, Carroll County traffic. Got a taxi over, pick up Elliot, take right back off. All right, so we want 700 feet. 80 knots. 700, the needle's a little off to the right. Which is the traffic scavenger to triple two, about four miles uh, to the east for landing uh, runway three two, left downwind. Carroll County, King Air 2 and 1 Victor is turning right to the runway three four. That needle in there, I'm not sure how much we have to crab this. 700 feet. We're looking for 1180. Uh, crosswind, and that seems to be working. All right, we're going to level off at 1,500 feet, okay? okay. And, uh, that's uh, higher than your MDA, I recognize that, but we're in a really turbulent conditions, and there's no need that. to be down there 500 feet off the ground, these kind of conditions. I agree. I don't like it. All right, they got you down to plenty of time, that's for damn sure. Uh, go ahead and uh, move 15. forward, 1,500. <laughs> Is your MD, power comes back in. Now our pre-landing checklist is still complete from before. Okay. And I'll tell you when to take your hood off. Okay. About 80 to northeast of the field, uh, we're at 1,500 feet. We'll be crossing over midfield to a left circle land for 3-2, full stop at Winchester. That was you. I couldn't hear you. Okay. All right, let's get back on our heading here because that needle seems to be okay. Go ahead and look up. Take your foggles off. All right. As you're going to cross over midfield. Okay. Good. <laughs> Remember, you're 200 feet low, and you've already got 10 degrees of flat. So plan accordingly. Okay. The call. I don't need to make a call. Or uh, no, I got the call. Don't okay. Worry about it. Good. All right. Plus, there's nobody else out here. In fact, let's go here. This is the runway. And Winchester Traffic Sky Ventures 22. We are crossing over midfield now. Going to make a left downwind for 3-2. Uh, full stop at Winchester. Flat's going to be it for today, I think. Okay. No more flats. And let's bring this back. Yeah, we burned a 
lot of gas. Good. What's the elevation here again? Uh, it's just 700 feet. 700, okay. Which has the traffic, Skyvans triple two, turning uh, base runway three two. A while since I landed an airplane. Okay, now well, been a, even longer while since you landed with 25 knots worth of crosswind. So. That is the truth. All right. Winchester traffic, Sky Ventures triple two, turning final runway three two. Okay, now we can come back on it. Power a little bit and start to come down. Okay, let's slow us down to about seventy five. Alright, there's your minimums. I keep your hand on that power. Add and subtract as necessary. I'll have to set up a crab, wing low crab probably. Yoke. 11 knot crosswind, and there we go. we got two of them. 70 knots. You're with me on this. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely pretty wacky. I'm with you on the controls, okay? All right. All right, chop easing. The power here. Don't chop it. No, don't chop it. Just okay. ease it out. Don't all, all, not all the way. All right. Go and with a little bit of power. Directional control with the feet. But, all right. Well, landing is not over. Our power's all the way out now. No, no, don't skid it. Just roll it all down here. Skid it, meaning and it, the brakes don't skid the tires. Okay. Right. Were, were those skidding? Uh, yeah, they were skipping a little bit. Okay, you were. It felt like you was trying to you hit the brakes too hard. Just you just roll right down here, and we'll be good. A little tricky. <laughs> yeah, that's very tricky. All right, and off you go right here. And there's our passenger right out there. And Winchester Skyventures Triple Two is clearing three two. All right, head right over there, and he'll jump right in. Oh, the guy wants to shepherd you in. That's okay. I'm sure Elliot appreciates this. Don't do not shut it down. Parking brake is on. 